What is happening guys? Welcome back. So, as you can see by the thumbnail and title of this video, we're going to be getting on with a little bit more on the T5. So what we're going to look at doing is we're going to fit cruise control and seeing as we've got to take the steering wheel off anyway, we'll replace the steering wheel and then we need to fix my floppy armrest as well. So we've got a few bits up here now. The cruise control kit is a genuine Volkswagen kit that I bought online so you've got the loom in here and then all the new stalks in the box there i've purchased this which is what you fit to fix the armrest hopefully i bought the right side and then the steering wheel is going to be done standard volkswagen up flat bottom i just like it we've not got multi-function steering wheel and all that in this van um so i like that as a simple cheap-ish option um, so we'll get the GoPro out and make a start. We need to get the steering wheel off, column off, the lower dash off, replace the stalks and then run some wiring. I've read the manual and the instructions for the cruise control. It doesn't look too difficult, but I'll try and explain what I'm doing. Right, first thing to do is remove the steering wheel. The key in the ignition, just take the lock off, turn the wheel, and in the back of the steering wheel, you'll feel a hole. You're gonna get a short-ish screwdriver and you can feel there's a metal prong and the wheel, the airbag pops forward. Same on the other side. Just to push it back for it to come back. got to say this is one of the easiest airbags to disconnect I've ever done disconnected now disconnect the battery before you do this uh, so that is that make sure your steering wheels straight now I'm going to undo that center spine Basically, I think someone's been in here before. This cowl goes on somehow of a fashion like that. And you've got this little lug here that there should have been a screw through that into that both sides that weren't there. So undo those screws, release your column adjustment down so that that pulls up. Um, then you've got to undo that screw just there and pull that tab there up it pushes down to lock it in meaning that it releases all of this from the steering column once you've got this off um there's a little clip here which is this one i've now got it apart you need to push something up through the gap between up there so that this i've broken this so that this bit basically uh, that bit moves and that bit stays if you like to release that clip out and then undo that clip, that clip, that clip and that clip and that slides off. Right, we've got the loom in. So basically you, that clip there, if you can see that clip there and I think there's one, that clip there at the bottom. This yellowed piece pulls that way off and then you put your wires into here which have already got the right ends on. Referring back to the book, in this configuration, and they're numbered, it's got 30 and 31 that end, and it's got 25 noted on the this this end. Plug all your wires in in that configuration, um, and then we'll go through all this, and then basically you plug the plug on the other end, wherever it is. This plug goes up into the BCM, I think it is, or something that's up in there. The yellow wire... Or the black wire with the yellow line that goes through into the engine where we've got to work out where that goes and these two i'm not 100 percent sure what these are for if i'm being honest but i'm sure it'll all make sense in a minute so that is that bit done so we can put the new stalks on now which are these here and we've got to clip this all back on in the right way should we just clip back together 
go. Clipped in, clipped in, so that's all clipped back in. This should just plug back in on here. It says, a little bit like that. Locking pin goes in, but you have to put it on the column first. Put it on the column first, through the hole. Mm -mm -mm. Push that in, that locks it in. Do that screw up to hold it onto the column. Good sign. So that is that bit all back together. Let's do um, that's that bit. And yeah, we might work out what we're doing with the rest of it now, because I really, really, I'm not too sure. Right, we're moved on. So we've got most of the inside stuff sorted out. You've got to then come in here, take the battery out, take the battery tray out as well, which is a few bolts on. And then in here, turn that up there. In here, you've got this load of connectors here, which this is turned that way. So that this is the bottom that goes down. You've got this bottom plug, which fits into a connection down it really can't show you very well um and it goes into number one which is that one just there so it's an absolute faff but you can lift this all up and get to this we've got to try and get we've got to drill a hole in this to bring the cable through and we've got to get the cable from in hither which is that one there from in here through into the engine bay. Right, we've made a little bit more progress. So we've got the wire for the cruise control up here. So this grommet here, if you can see it, is the grommet for the black cable is the bonnet release. So all I did was undid these two torque screws, that top torque screw, pulled it off, pulled the cable back and then used some long nose pliers to pull the grommet back into where we are. Um, used a little screwdriver or pick, that little pick there, to open the end of the grommet up the other side, pulled the cable through, and then basically put everything back together in there, into the engine bay. Here is the wire coming through, which comes through just there. I've gone around and put loom tape all the way along it. And now what I think I'm gonna do, we're gonna come along and follow this loom along here, up there, along this loom, along those brake lines, down behind here, through, here somewhere i don't know where we're just about to drill a hole in the back here for the rubber grommet to bring the cable into this sealed area and then we'll plug it into the connector and connect it up well, i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not but Cable is in now, the, ru the rubber grommet's in through the hole, bringing it into the box. This is the connector that you need, which is right at the bottom. Don't use the black one at the top, as it says in the instructions, because that is not the correct one. We've got to get this pink cable retaining clip out. As it's all going back together, this is the lid for all the electronics. So there's screws here, there's one down there, there's one at the front there and there's a few on there i think there's eight in total that's that panel and then now we'll pop this back on which is the battery panel which sits in there you've got bolt 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 right this bit is the bit that was sort of confusing me a bit so in the kit you've got this plug that plugs straight into this module and then you get this end which is a plug another end and then this wire here now reading this what you do is take the body control module down take out connector b and it's labeled on here connector b then you unclip the black wire from receptacle three and on the back you've got one two five six so it's one two three four five six working one three and five at the top two four and six at the bottom you will need pin removal tool or some very, very small screwdrivers to push in to release the pins from either side. And it says 
push out the black wire from receptacle three, then clip this wire into the supplied connector housing, which is this piece here, which I'm assuming goes that way, that way, that way. Um, insert the black wire coming from the harness into the chamber three of the connector housing. So you put the other wire into this connector housing, some way, a way, that way. Push the pink retainer back down. And in theory, other than plugging that in when this is all back in, that's it done. We've just got to pull that lot back together. Right, once you've got all of this back together, all the cowling back on, make sure that the plug for that is at the top. Fit your new steering wheel now. You ain't gonna be able to see this on here, but if you're looking at your steering wheel, there's a little nick or a little mark at the top here, and there's a little mark at the top of your steering column. You wanna line those two marks up. That way you know it's in the same place as the wheel that came off. Get your bolt, put that back on, and then we'll torque it down to 50 newton meters. Seems to be what everyone on the internet is saying. So that is what we shall do. Newton meters. That's that one done. Um, airbag. This is the bit I'm not 100% sure on. I shall have a go nevertheless. Steering wheels on, torque down 50 Newton meters. This is the original T5 airbag. This is the new or the Volkswagen up one. So to remove, I've already swapped this central airbag one over, but you basically lift that clip up. If I can get it, that clip comes up like that, and then that connector just pulls out. And it's the same, as long as you get it in the orientation, it's the same fitting in both. And just clip that down, which is like a retainer. Then you've got these connections here. So this one here comes from the airbag. So we don't need to worry about that one. We want this brown one here and we want this black and white one here. Now, they are both different sized connectors. One's big, one's small. And you've got a big terminal and a small terminal, wherever it is. Is there somewhere in there? So plug them in. Plug that plug into that plug. Hopefully it all works and we don't get an airbag in the face. There you go. Steering wheel is on. See if the horn works. Oh, battery's off. Can't see if the horn works. But there, that's that on. Connect the battery up. See if that works. Now we've got to go in with VCDS VADCOM as well, which I haven't got. So I'm going to ring my very good friends at Transport HQ. See if we can go and see them tomorrow to code the cruise control in and hopefully it works. But that's that bit done. Right, cruise control is in, done, fitted. Steering wheel is on and looking trick. Next thing to sort out, and hopefully I bought the right one, is we're gonna sort this armrest out because it is falling down, not holding where it needs to. And it's basically that little lug there, snaps off, common fault on them. Pretty easy to do. So let's make a begin with that. First thing you gotta do is take this cover off, which I've got some trim tools probably use a screwdriver just trying to damage it then you need to get yourself a m9 i think it is fits m9 could be an m10 multi-spline bit and undo the bolt yeah there's the bit that snapped off oh looks like it's right bolt is out and there uh, this is the part that we need to be changing you need to get in there and there's a little screw down there which is a rod that runs all the way through to this which is the adjustment for it so i'll go and get a bit for that you need a t15 torx screwdriver or bit to get this pin out right just keep undoing that screw until it comes loose then pull that piece out and then that piece will come out as well which is on there right once you've got to that point this bit will still be in here um i got a wherever it's gone half inch extension bar which this isn't but it was into 
the smaller side, hit it on the floor and that knocks that piece out. You can get the new piece and there's a metal spring thing in there that you've got to get this over. So you just push the new one in to place. So it's flush that side, flush that side. Screw and the adjuster back in. Once you've got this bit all back in um, and your the pin in that you screw in that is the adjuster, you, what I've just had to do is wind the pin all the way in with a torque screwdriver as tight as it will go, meaning that you can't turn this by hand. The pin that is the bit that broke off of the other one that's hanging down there that you can just see inside, that is up here through this cutout when you put it in. You need to make sure that the screw inside, which is the adjustment, which changes the angle, is as far in as it will go so that that pin can pass the head. I then pulled that pin round up to the top so I could get the screwdriver in the end again to back it off so that this now spins and goes in, yeah, does what we want it to do in the right way. So now that is all done, that can go back on the seat and we've now got adjustment on the armrest. So that's on there. Wherever my screw's gone, just there. Screw back in, do it up, clip the cover on. It's supposed to be a five minute job, turns into a bit of a naught of pain, but it's done. And it's gonna be back on. There we go, that's on. Clip the cover on, and we've got a working armrest. Right, here we are, Transport Rage HQ. They've very kindly lent me their laptop with Vagcom on it. I've got the instructions down here on what to do. Right, it doesn't look too bad. So, we've got Vagcom on here. Let's connect this up to the van. Cable is plugged in down there into the OBD port. We've got in an open VCDS and it's now found the vehicle, which is all of this. Over to coding. And then in here is where you enter the code and it comes up with a box already and it tells you 11463 is a cruise control system activation. Just cross-referencing it to the manual, entering the code 11463 means the number put up. So that is the same code. So I'm thinking 11463. Do it. So I'm assuming that means done. So go back go back exit that ignition off vag come out and then it says leave it for at least 30 seconds um, and that should be cruise control coded in which we'll be able to go up the road and have a try with and see if it works or not surely it can't be that easy coming out of transport right HQ Thank you very much for loaning me your laptop. Vagcom seems quite easy. That coding seems easy. I'm, yeah, surely that can't be how easy it was, but let's have a look. So, into fifth gear, no, into fourth gear, 40 mile an hour, turn cruise control on. Oh, oh we've got a little cruise control symbol on the dashboard. Press the up button. speeding up it works <laughs> it works and we're now cruising at 50 mile an hour on cruise control down press the clutch deactivates it press the brake deactivates it so that worked and that was a hell of a lot more simple than I expected it to be that's yeah really really easy really really easy um, hopefully I got across in the video what to do because I couldn't find any other videos of how to fit the cruise control. Um, if you've got any questions, drop me a DM and I'll try and answer them. Um, if it's a year after the video has gone out then I apologise, I probably can't remember. Um, but yeah, super, super easy. Right, that's, uh, yeah, cool. So. That is that video over and done with. 
we've made a start on the T5 project. You may have worked out that I may have gone over to Transport HQ to collect a few little bits as well, which we'll be me talking about soon. And um, yeah, getting on with fitting some Transport HQ parts. Before we go, if you're gonna order anything from Transport HQ, use the code CHAMBERS5 to get yourself 5% off. Right, that's that one over and done with. Until next time, enjoy.